Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, I hope everyone had a great Christmas. Can't believe it's January already, but let's crack on with life. Uh, I kind of wanted to go back to basics a little bit. So I'm going to be doing some videos just sort of explaining some basics. <laughs> basics? Because I figured some people might be watching this to learn some stuff, pick up a few tips, tips and tricks. So I want to provide those tips and tricks. That's what I'm going to show you how to do today. It's a nice glowy flawless base. <laughs> I've got a uh, small dog on my lap, so if you hear any strange sounds, it'll be him and not me or my bum. Say hello. Oh, are you trying? Are you trying? Anyway, let's crack on. So, skin's looked better, to be honest. But my Christmas has been filled with chocolate, <laughs> mint pies, <laughs> alcohol, all of it. It's just very telling in my skin. So, I personally like my skin glowy. I just do. I just think it looks nicer on me than matte. Before you start any of your makeup, make sure you've done your skincare. You need to leave time for that to sink in. I've done mine quite a long time. So I get quite an oily T-zone, I'd say I've got combination skin, which is where it's a little bit dry in places and also can get quite oily throughout the day. So first thing that I do is I spray my face with an oil control uh, makeup primer spray. This one is by Skin Denevia. Skin Denevia, I'm literally obsessed with them. And everyone knows the Urban Decay Up All Night setting spray. I think it's actually called All Nighter. These guys created it with them. Urban Decay brought these guys in to create that setting spray. So these are the OG. This is the OG. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to excuse this raid works going on outside. <laughs> so I spray my face with this. Let that dry. Here we go. <laughs> I'm then going to go over the top with another primer. Where are you going? What's the matter? Um, anyway, so as I was saying before, I like my skin to be really glowy and I like the glow to come from within. So I start that with my primer. So I'm gonna go in here with this Spectrum Glowful Primer. I'm just gonna pop it on the back of my hand. Now, with most of my skin products, I actually like to use my fingers um, just because I think it like melts into the skin a bit better. So that's what I'm going to do. And while that's drying, I like to sort of do all of my priming at the same time. So I'm gonna use an eye primer. Eye priming is really important if you are gonna wear eyeshadow. Everyone knows if you wear eyeshadow for a long enough time, you end up getting those creases in your eyelids. And it's just really annoying and it's not the vibe, is it? So I use this MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour eye primer. I've used it for years. Not this specific one, obviously, because that would gross. Just put a bit on my finger, smudge it between my other finger, and then just pop it on my eyelids. <laughs> like so. I'm not gonna put it where I'm gonna put any eye makeup. Yeah. I think it's really important to wait for every step to dry fully before you move on to the next step. You don't want the products to mix together because then they won't do what they're supposed to do. So I like to go in with another glowy product before I start putting any um, <laughs> putting any sort of colour products on my face just to really enhance that glow, honey. But at the moment I like using this Glossier Future Dew Serum. I just put it on the high points of my face where I really want that glow to like shine through. One pump on the back of my hand and then I kind of like to work the product a bit, aerate it a bit just so it becomes a bit thicker. And then I just sort of put it in between my fingers and I just sort of press it onto the high parts of my face. We're gonna start adding a bit of layers, some more layers to my face. My first layer, I would say, I don't tend to put foundation all over my face just cause it doesn't sit well with my skin anymore. Um, so I like to go in with a tinted moisturiser or something that's got, or like a blurring cream, something that's got like little to no pigment. I'm gonna go in with this Beauty Pie tinted moisturiser, but I'm not sure how I feel about it and I feel like I need to give it one more go. I mean, it could just be the wrong shade. First time I used it, loved it, thought it was amazing. Second time, third, fourth, fifth, 
whatever, loved it. But now I feel like it, it, it seems to go a little bit orange on my skin for some reason. So this is the light. I can make it work, it's no problem. Oh, I've given it a good shake as well. Just to really mix it up because I didn't know if that was the issue. I don't know. Oh. I'm gonna put a blob, a blobule on the back of my hand. I am actually gonna apply this with a brush. I mean, most of the time I put my makeup on like a mad rush uh, and I do just use my fingers. I'm just gonna use a flat headed foundation brush just so I can really whip it on my face quite quickly. I tend to start in the center of my face and work outwards because the center of my face is where <laughs> I need the most work. Na, 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 na. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's made my face look really orange. Maybe I'm just really pale and I need the fair. I swear it wasn't this orange when I got it, but I did get it in the summer, so that probably makes sense. The consistency of it is really nice. And the coverage of it is also really nice. It's just clearly not the right colour. <laughs> I'm gonna go over the top of that with a clean beauty blender. All this is gonna do is get rid of any brush strokes, really push that product into the skin. And I think because it's slightly wet as well, it's gonna help with that glow. So then I'm gonna brighten up my under eyes. Um, and I love this from Beauty Pie. Beauty Pie. It's called the Under Eye Genius. And this is in light medium. I use this a lot. I'm going to take this sort of like flat headed brush. I'm going to dip it in here. And then I don't actually like, I rarely put products straight onto my face. Um, just because I like to control the amount a bit more. So I'll work that into the back of my hand just to really get it in the brush. I'm only putting a little bit on my face and it's much easier to build than it is to put loads on your face and then push excess product around. It's not really, I'm not here for that. I'm just gonna pop it under my eyes. I've got darkness. Actually just gonna leave that there for a minute. So when it becomes more tacky, it's like easier to work with and it will actually stay where I've put it as well. And I know it says it's just for eyes on the packaging, but I actually like to use it elsewhere on my face. There's barely anything on this brush. And do you know what? I'm gonna put some on the high parts of my brow bone. Now that's gone all tacky, so tacky, I'm gonna go in with my fingers just to really push that into place. Again, you could use a, a, blah, 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 a beauty blender, but because I've only put a little bit of product in, this will pick up product and take it off, as you can see. I'm just gonna use my ring finger and then just do like teeny tiny, really light as well. The pressure is minimal. Teeny tiny little taps exactly where I've just put it. And this is just gonna melt that product into the skin a bit better. Gorgeous. <laughs> in any of the areas I want more coverage, I just want to like marry everything together. I'm going to go in with a light CC cream. Right, so I'm actually going to use a fluffy brush, quite a small fluffy brush as well. I'm not going to put the product directly on my face. I'm going to load up the brush first and then just sponge it all over. So I'm using this Arbon CC cream in light. I've put a bit of it on the back of my hand. I'm going to dip my brush in like this. So the tip's nice and saturated. Again, I'm gonna work this in the center of my face and work it outwards. My touch is very light, and this will help you avoid like brush stroke marks and all the things you don't wanna see. One of my biggest tips to not looking cakey is only putting product where you actually need to put it and sort of changing the products you use depending on what your skin's like. So if I've had a horrific breakout, I probably will use foundation to like cover up those spots, but if I haven't had one, then I probably am not going to use it, if that makes sense. So having like interchangeable makeup routines is really important, I think. And even if I was covering up loads of spots, I would only put the foundation on my spots. I wouldn't put it all over my face. Same with concealer. Don't pile loads of concealer under your eyes if you're worried about it creasing because it will crease if you've got wrinkles under there unfortunately so just putting less on is going to reduce that risk but you still get the benefits next step is blush and bronze i do my bronze first 
yeah that's fine and i like to go in with a cream bronzer this is by revolution it's inspire again i don't put it directly onto my skin i always load up my brush first and i like to use quite a dense fluffy brush for this and it's also quite small so i can really get in there get in there i basically just apply this sort of round this area of my face and then on my nose you can see better on this side it's just sort of where the shadows hit me hit me just swirl my brush in the product if it helps you suck in your face i kind of like to map out where i'm going to put it first and then i'll start like working it into my face <laughs> and i like to put the majority of the depth of color like higher up and then sort of blend it out and down there we are so it's just shaped my face a bit more a little bit of warmth back then i go in with a cream blush um, I've really been enjoying this one from Honest Beauty. It's lovely and creamy in rose pink. It's just a nice neutrally pink, I suppose. I'll be popping this on the high points of my cheek and I quite like to like bring it up. I just really like the way that it looks. And then I'll be putting a little bit down the center of my face just to marry everything together. And I also cross over where I've put my bronze just to blend it all because you don't want to look stripy. I like to pat it on first and then I'll work it in. Just work on the placement first before I work it. Work it. And then I use what's left on the brush just to brush over the centre of my nose. Pop a bit on my chin and a bit down the centre of my forehead. And then what I like to do, um, I like to set that, but I set it with its powder equivalent. And the reason that I do this is because using a clear powder... <laughs> If I were to set it with a clear powder, it might take away some of its pigment or like dull it down a bit. Um, and I don't want to do that. This Benefit palette, which has got Hoola Dark and Hoola Light in it. I kind of use a mixture of both. I go in with this gorgeous angled brush from Illamasqua. I've not actually used this yet. Great shape. Love it. And I'm just going to go over the top of what I've done. And then you guessed it, I'm gonna do exactly the same, but with blusher. I tend to normally use the same brush that I've applied the cream with. I don't really know why, it's just the way that I do it. And today I'm gonna to go over the top with this MAC blush. It's in Fleur Power. Again, just gonna swirl the brush in there. But I always like brush off any excess just to control the level that's gonna go on there. And again, I just apply this exactly where I've applied my blusher. Gorgeous. Although I love being glowy, I don't want to look greasy. So I am going to use a um, translucent powder. My personal preference is to use a brush. I use um, little poofs. I don't know why this is the single signal. Signal? I don't know why this is the symbol for little poofs. It's because I put my. No, forget it. So if you're going to use a pressed powder, what I mean by that, don't judge me, this one's nearly run out. I need to get a new one. Um, <laughs> there's literally nothing left. Uh, pressed as in pressed in the pan I would use a um, little poof puff thing and dab it in but that gives you a really matte look finish so I like to look glowy as we've already established um, so I will be using a really small this is actually an eyeshadow brush but because I want to really pinpoint where I'm putting it I want it small but a small and fluffy brush and I'm going to be using this Bobbi Brown loose powder and where I'm going to put this is where I said I get quite greasy throughout the day so in my t-zone just sort of in the center of my face so I've just dunked that in there like that sort of shaking off any excess So then last little step for me is a setting spray. Um, again, this one is by Skin Geneva. I'm gonna sort of try and actually hit my face. <laughs> I never do it on myself because my eyes are shut. I can't see what I'm doing. Before I do anything else, I always make sure I just wipe off the foundation or residue on my lips. Right, and final step, which I've basically forgotten to do, um, is a bit of highlight. Now, highlight, I don't know, just do it with how I feel. What's going on with my hair? And for this time of year, I'm not even joking, I love this one. Um, it's by Pixie. 
and it's just it's a bit pinky so I feel like it like adds to your blush a bit but it's also just a bit more interesting to look at and I like to quite like pinpoint my highlight so I always put a bit on my cupid's bow I'm not overly neat with it because I know I'm gonna go on and put lip product on so it will make it seem like poutier I suppose put a little bit on the tip of my nose and a little bit in the center here I also then like to put a little bit in the center of the corner of my eye like so um, and then I like to use quite a small fluffy brush as you can hear and I will apply that onto the tops the very tops of my cheekbones instead of doing it in a straight line like this up and down I like to look to see where the lights actually hitting my cheeks and you can see there it's here and it's up here so that's where I will be applying it and I just sort of turn my face in the light basically and that's where I will then put it but there we are so that is how I create my glowy face um, it's got really good durability, so that's what we need. And that's locked in there now, that won't budge all day, which is what we want, isn't it? I've never really been about covering up, completely covering up my skin, it's just not my style. But I think you can still achieve like a really pretty base without caking yourself. Go forth and give it a try, would love to know how you get on. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Hope you enjoyed this week's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!